All right, YouTube, we're back in the shop again. <laughs> I'll make this short because you're here to watch an airplane get built, not uh, hear me go blah, 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 blah. So, as you guys know, yesterday, and it was yesterday, uh, yesterday we left trying to get the back bulkhead in and we couldn't do it. So, we're home, took a break, you know, when things frustrate you. You know, one thing I learned about vans is that everything comes together very easily. You don't have to pull out a bigger hammer with this thing and, and stuff. So I went home, did some reading, and what you have to do is you have to remove this uh, one side of the skins. There you go. See what happens when you read? I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> so, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to pull a skin. I'm going to pull the, if you're looking at it, the right side skin off get that bulkhead in it's not really like i said um getting that bulkhead in is more of a fit and finish to see if everything goes together and then to learn how it goes together um there are no parts that really attach to that bulkhead um so i could theoretically and <laughs> i use words like that it makes it should make you nervous it makes me nervous Theoretically, I don't have to worry about, but I need to do the exercise because like I said, part of this is to learn how to put it back together, right? Or to take it apart, put it back together for, uh, for final assembly after priming. So I am going to do that. I am going to do that exercise and uh, we are going to take the right side skin off. And then we will put the bulkhead in and then we'll put the right side skin back on. Then um, for today, we're going to finish the bulkhead in the front. And then we got to put the runners along the edge. And there is a ton of measurements to make sure that the, that the tail's not cantered or anything like that. There's a ton of uh, leveling, not a ton, but you got to do a lot of leveling and stuff. So we got a lot of work today uh, to get through this. And hopefully that will complete the mock-up. And then that means we get to tear it down for paint. So so we've got a lot to do today. Um, it's going to go kind of slow. A lot of tasks, but not a whole lot of... You're not going to see any huge improvements or any huge changes. So you know the routine. I got to build a plane. It's cold here. I'd like to get out of here by 2 o'clock today. So uh, take care, be well, and uh, stay tuned because I will uh, show you some things as I, as I come upon them as we work through them together. Yes, with much consternation, <laughs> I've been listening to uh, Hornblower by C.S. Lewis. And uh, I've never heard that word used so much, but uh, I'm, I'm using it. So with much consternation yesterday, as you guys know, uh, getting this piece in there was a pain. Now, I don't have the other side on, but I can tell you <laughs> without a doubt, um, if you take the side off as I did, it goes right in. <laughs> so, so we've got the side off. And now what I'm going to do is put the side back on. Uh, I got all my my rails lined up here. I'm gonna leave them float. I, I know you, I could probably tack them down or whatever, but I'm gonna leave them float for now as I put the side back in and then we'll tighten it back up. But yes, that is definitely the way of doing this is to get the side or to take the side off per the instructions and then um, put it back on so that's what I'm gonna do but it's pretty neat looking at it without its side but yet together so uh, I'm gonna take a picture I think of this so uh, all right back to work all right so I probably did a lot of overkill back here <laughs> clicking the back but there's a reason because I was reading that we have to set there there is the canter of the back tail. So I wanted to make sure that all of the, especially in the back, all the Clecos were in and this was fastened. There was no slack. And if you notice, you can kind of bend it a little bit 
And so I wanted to make sure that this platform, because you adjust the canter of the tail back here per the instructions. So I wanted to make sure, and, and maybe it's overkill, I don't know, but I'm just thinking that, that I need to make sure that this area here is sound um, and, and everything. Because like I said, we're going to be sent, uh, adjusting the canter using levels back here. And so I wanted to make sure I had good, good connection and, and good support and, and everything. So that's why I have all the Clecos in, in the back um, and everything. So, so now we've got to go and uh, I think I get to put those big rails in, those guys there that are leaning up and we get to see how well I did my bend, if I did a good bend or, or not. So, uh, so, but uh, let's follow the instructions. All right, so as expected, actually I'm pretty happy on the bends that I did on this. I don't know, you know, if you can't, if you're not good, be lucky, right? So everything lined up. The bends happened right where they were supposed to, and the notches happened when we notched them. It was perfect. And as you can see, the bend here and the bend there, they're actually equally, if you look at the line, they intersect perfectly. So maybe an eighth, maybe if that, an eighth of an inch here. No big deal. It's not cantered. We did, I did, we, I did check it. So now there was a fillet, or not a fillet, but a piece that we had to put in here to bridge the gap because if you the laundron sit on top, and I'll kind of go, let's see if we can get up under there and you can see that. So there was a gap there, so we had to fix it, or we had to fill it with a, uh, and that's by design. We had to fill it with a piece of aluminum that had to be cut to shape, and then of course, the holes, uh, matching holes drilled uh, for that, which was uh, fun to get that done. Um, the next step now is to go and line up the skin with his lingeron. Lingeron, I think that's French, right? For lateral, maybe? I don't know. Lingeron. So we have to match, and this is a thick uh, angle iron. It's, it's a lot thicker than the J channel. So the, the rule is, or not the rule, there's a, the, the goal is, is to line it up, and I'll, I'll put it right here, is to line this skin up with this edge. And so what I think what I'll do is I'll pull and push as I'm drilling. But if you look at it, it's pretty lined up. I mean, it's there's a couple pieces, as you can see, that flexes a little bit. So there's going to be some flex there. And so I'll have to go down and as I drill, I'll have to flex and line it up. Um, I think today we got enough done getting this back cap on, getting uh, everything together, making sure it's square. I am really happy. I did have a small situation where this piece here, which is that, that bridge, if it's a little bit fat, it will push this out. And you wanna make sure that there's no gaps in your skin where your skin come together. Especially, let me see if I can hold my camera and, and sh along these edges here, you don't want any like large gaps and there was a large gap here. So I had to, had to just nick this a little bit, but not anything major, but it's amazing how just a little piece, just a little bit will, will mess up and what, and, and stuff. And the other thing too is when you're drilling these two, you got to make sure after you drill one, you got to take it back off, take it out and clear out the chips. And then also, um, also, uh, you know, deburr because that will keep that from sitting flush. But I'm really happy. This is lining up exactly the way it should. Um, this skin. So what it is, is that this should be flush this skin here should be flush with this, and then this should sit on top of it. It should not be down, see how that's, it should not be like that. It needs to be like that. You should be able to see this edge consistently. It should not be flat like that. It should be like, like that. So, 
and this should this edge here should not overlap this edge so that's not correct either they should be equally distant from each other and everything so that's just some things you got to be careful of um, as you do it like this is perfect here this is its own edge so there should be a little it should not they should not overlap each other if that makes sense and I'll and you can look at it by the drawing um yeah so real happy I'm gonna keep the, this chop saw I will tell you if you're cutting aluminum like I am you need to have a chop saw it, it, this thing cuts phenomenally well um you don't need to have one like this obviously but a chop saw it will make your life so much more easier when cutting this aluminum so uh so yeah so we got the deck on the back just a lot of um the nut plates in this is a tunnel and your control arm goes in here there's a lot of things that go in here or not a lot of things but your control arm for your pitch control um like i said i got to start thinking about putting in the servos for the pitch servo and then the yaw dampener bracket uh the elt i think there's a battery bracket that goes over here somewhere uh the elt i'm gonna put over here so those brackets i'm gonna go ahead and get those ordered i know a lot of people are like oh it's too soon it's too soon well look i can i can work i can get in here and work i'm not climbing in to have to put this stuff in it's 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 all there so um so i'm gonna do it now yeah i mean i, I got it open and everything and uh and i'm gonna get it done now but man she's coming together just a lot of little parts i think this is a good indication of how the uh fus not the the fuselage is going to be this is the tail the empennage or the the tail of the airplane but just by working on these there's a lot of little parts nah, not too little I, I mean, i'm sure they get smaller than this even uh going into this and it's just a lot of fabricating um and and just getting everything to do i'm really happy you know just as a testament to how vans builds an airplane uh i mean everything just lines up it's just amazing how how all the holes line up if the holes aren't lining up you're doing something wrong the holes should line up i took the skin off i took the skin off put the skin right back on and everything lined up. I mean, so that means that, you know, you're, you're, I'm doing it right. And I can tell you, if things don't line up, stop. Stop what you're doing and, and evaluate because everything lines up on these airplanes. Um, I cannot stress that enough. Cannot stress that enough. So, all right, enough of that. Let me switch over. All right, so got a lot done. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool sitting next to your airplane, right? <laughs> um, got a lot done today, even though, you know, it's not big pieces coming together. It's a lot of little pieces, a lot of little cutting, uh, shaping, um, things like that, aligning, getting things, you know, making sure that the tail doesn't have a canter to it. Um, because that all those types of things ever so slight do affect its its uh, flyability. I mean, it, it it's it, you know just a little bit. You'll learn as a when you fly, just a little little trim, a little pitch. Well, you know, will will you know make the plane veer one way or the other? Doesn't take a whole lot, believe it or not. But, you know, driving a car actually is more difficult than flying an airplane um, and, and everything. So, yeah, so making, taking the time, making sure that tail, uh, it, there's no canter in the tail and that everything is, is in line with each other and you're not putting a twist. Um, you know, we run into this a lot in a, in a boat, you know, you have the transom on the back of the boat and that boat that you know people will cut a transom and the boat will boom will, will twist one way or the other because that 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 transom is just as important as the keel you know the stiffness 
and stuff, you know, it, there's a lot of pressure back there. So the same thing on an airplane, on a tail of an airplane, if you, if you have the tail and you canter it a little bit one way or the other, or if things aren't lining up the way they need to, you know, you're going to put a twist in it. And, uh, you know, a twist is a, can, can lead to, to uh, putting stress on parts that weren't meant to have stress on them. All right. So, so you got to make sure uh, that everything is dimensionally correct and you're not off by, you know, I mean, you don't want to be off period. Um, there are some tolerances, but, uh, you know, you just, you got to take the time to do it right now or you're going to, you're going to have issues down the road, possible issues. So yeah, I got a lot done today in the shop. I'm going to call it a day. It is a, uh, the weekend. Um, got some football. Uh, sorry for my Packers last loss last night, but hey, you know what? You don't show up. Don't don't show up to the game. Well, I shouldn't criticize. That's I don't play football, so I, I don't know you know what where their hearts were at and and everything. But uh, yeah, it just they just didn't do it. Didn't you know? There's a win and a loss column. There's not a how or how much. It's a win or loss. The only time how much is when you go to Vegas. It's the only time that matters. Um, so the thing is, is uh, so today we got the uh, Bucks go Bucks. You know here at uh, Tampa. So so be rooting them on and everything. It, it it does save a problem for me because I am a Bucks fan. It's kind of like I'm a Florida and a Tennessee fan. So I root for Florida when they're not playing Tennessee, but when they play Tennessee, I got to root for Tennessee or I don't have to, I just root for Tennessee. Um, same thing with the Bucks. I mean, you know, I like the uh, Green Bay and I like the Bucks. And when when the Bucks play Green Bay, I have, I root for Green Bay, but uh, that eliminates it. That takes all those issues away from me, <laughs> for me. So, all right, enough of that, but I appreciate you uh, spending, taking the time out of your day to watch the video, spending time in shop. Not a whole lot here. Today is just a, more of a precision day, making sure that you get your cuts right, making sure that you align your parts correctly, you know, and, and, and everything. And it's it, it doesn't look like a lot got done for a long day, but a lot got done for a very long day. It was a lot of uh, cutting, um, measuring, cutting, uh, refining, um, and everything to get the parts just right. So everything comes together, uh, especially uh, on that, uh, that spacer and to make sure that you weren't put, I wasn't putting too much force on the spacer that, that would cause it to, to, to puff out. Like I showed you, if your, if your parts don't fit snugly together, that means you got pressure somewhere that, that it, something's something's not right you gotta adjust it so all right well with enough of that uh you know you know the routine any any comments questions concerns anything like that put them in the chat uh i'll, I'll get to them I'll, I'll answer them and and stuff make sure you uh support your local eaa group find one they're they're all over the united states if you're interested in learning how to build a vans or view a vans airplane or whatever you're in the uh, in the northern Tampa area or whatever. Shoot me a line. Come on over if you. <laughs> I'm getting to the point. Each one of these holes is gonna have to have a rivet put in it. Um, so if you if I thought drilling the hole was gonna be a pain in the butt, each one of these holes has to be dimpled and or countersunk in some cases, and uh, then a, a rivet has to be done. And I can tell you there is no way that I can reach all of these rivets. Um, so I'm going to need some help, some guys probably from the EAA club, get them to come over and help me. We'll have a, a, a night of riveting. We'll have a riveting night and uh, we'll get that done. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'm really, really happy with the progress uh, that, that I made uh, this week, um, getting everything back on schedule. And um, yeah, just, uh, it's just uh, amazing. I just, every day, I can't tell you every day I come in and work on this plane how amazed I am at the engineering. Um, it's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. So, all right. Well, I, like always, just be safe. Uh, spend some time this weekend with your loved ones. Uh, let them know you're thinking about them. And uh, like always, may God bless you. Keep you safe.